Hello, welcome to Grill the Gaffer. I'm with Cambridge United manager Sean Derry this week and we're going to fire your questions to him via Twitter. Right, Sean, the first one is from United Fame. Man mark or zonal at set pieces? Well, I've never been a fan of zonal. Um, granted, I've never really been in an environment where we've worked on it. Mm -hmm. So, taking my experiences into management, it's all about... Man, man for man. Mm -hmm. I think with man for man, you um, you take responsibility and there's accountability Absolutely. for any mistakes. And I think there's grey areas with the zonal. Mm. Again, if you've got a, a, a big, aggressive centre-half who mm -hmm. just wants to come and attack it and he's there on his own in the zonal areas, sometimes yeah. you know you can ask him to do a job and just come and attack it. But yeah. it's so clos you know, claustrophobic yeah. within that six-yard six box that I like the man-to-man -man marking. Yeah. This is from Harry Brissenden. Does the 4-4-2 system still hold a place in the game today? Personally, I think the 4-4-2 system still definitely holds a place in Leagues 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about the Football League, then the Championship in particular yeah. is more of a hybrid league where there's a lot of good footballing teams who take control of the middle of the pitch. Mm -hmm. Um, play. So that as a result of coming down from the Premier League? I think that so. Yeah, part? without a doubt. The fallout from very good players you know, struggling to sustain their careers in, yeah. the, in the Premier League allows them to come into a, a very good level of the Championship. Mm -hmm. And I think where, when you're, you know, you're in that busy area of the pitch, mm. if you're getting played, overplayed by certain teams, yeah. you can be on the back foot straight away. And that's why a lot of managers adopt the three in the midfield. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, Dennis Mint at 27. You are playing on a wider type of pitch than usual. How do you set up? Is it something you've had experience of? It's, it's funny, we was, wide pitch. <laughs> we was having this chat the other day, um, Port Vale at our level have got uh -huh. a very wide pitch mm. and we was only having this co conversation internally the other day about how we would set up, what would set up how we've trained, mm. you know, and how we, what our beliefs and uh, what our system is. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter about the size of the pitch, it's all about how you can look after the ball in certain areas of it. Mm -hmm. Granted, if the game opens up and you need to be a little bit more expansive, mm. then you've got the, um, the freedom on the wings to perhaps adopt quicker full-backs and, uh -huh. uh, and wingers to try and create your 2v1s in wider areas. But, no, well, listen, we'd just stay the same. Yeah. Basically more running for the full-backs and wingers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from uh, Cash... Oh, sorry, Ish XN guy. How do you cope with the fallout in the dressing room? It's always a tough one. You know, as a manager... I don't like to go into the dressing room. Mm -hmm. I think that's a domain where the players have to look after it themselves. Mm. For me, you know, I've got four or five, six very capable young players. Mm -hmm. um, senior players are massive in that environment. And I think when something, you know, unsavoury happens in the dressing room for whatever reason, you've got to look at your senior pros to mm. sort that out. And if they can't, then they come to me. And we saw you. it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to do it, mate. That's fantastic. Sean Derry, thank you very much. Cheers.